Okay, in this video, I'm just going to do a very quick demonstration of how to display outputs using MATLAB. I'm going to start with uh, this set of inputs that I already had from a previous um, demonstration. And so uh, I've gotten some inputs from the user. And now uh, what I would do is maybe some sort of operation. So I could do math. Uh, and so perhaps I might say uh, my new variable, which I'll call uh, variable one, or sorry, var one, is going to equal to uh, variable one times variable two. All right, I'm going to put a semicolon to suppress the output, um, and then maybe I want to display whatever that result is. And MATLAB has two ways built in to do this. It can use what's called display. All right, so what I'm going to do is first use DISP, uh, and then I want to display variable one. All right, and maybe I want to put some text around this, so I'm also going to add a display command that says this is uh, variable one times variable two. All right, so I use single quotes to denote words, and so if I go ahead and run this, uh, if I input a 2 and then the number 5, and Q here, then it displays this is the variable 1 times variable 2, and the answer is 10, which is 2 times 5, so that makes sense. Alright, the other method of displaying that uh, we can use is what's called fprintf. And the way that fprintf works is that I first type fprintf, and then I type the text that I want to display with this. So let's say this is variable one times variable two. And then what I want to do is to display a letter, or sorry, an actual output as a number. And the way that we do this is I put a percent and then I'm going to tell it what format, and I'm going to choose point to f. What that means is that this percent means this is going to be a variable, the point to means that it's going to have two decimal places, and the f means that it will be floating point. Now, uh, one thing that we can say about fprintf that is important is that it does no formatting, so whatever, uh, if you leave out any sort of formatting, it's just going to continue on that line. So I want to put a slash n for new line. All right, now I'm going to close the single quote, put a comma, and then I'm going to put the variable in, which is going to replace this percent point two f. All right, and the variable in this case will be variable one. All right, so let's go ahead and run. Check that out. Uh, one and a five and and it's going to say, uh, again, this display was here. This says this is variable 1 times variable 2, which is uh, 5 with two decimal places. Now, uh, just for more practice, let's do one more. Uh, so here, let's do f print f. The letter u, uh, sorry, rather than do that, let's say uh, the first number you input is percent point five f so I would expect that would be a decimal number with five decimal places um, and I'm going to put slash n for new line and say that the variable I'm going to replace here is variable one all right so I could run this let's put a four and then the five and then a q You'll say this is variable one, it's four times five, which is 20. Uh, this is variable one, it's this. Now, you notice that I made a mistake here um, because that didn't come out quite what I expected. So let's go back and look at the code. And lo and behold, here I have a dollar sign instead of a percent sign. So let's do it again, four, five, Q. You can say the first number you input is four, and this is how it should look. So this is basically a very simple example of how you could use uh, MATLAB uh, to get an input and an output display and output for you to see.